Hi. Hi, my friends. How are you doing this evening? Um, I'm here today. I'm, I'm just uh, doing a little ritual here for myself personally. I've been um, sort of, well, absolutely um, demise by what I've been reading at Taiji. If you all follow me, you know I did a ritual on the beach on September 2012. I think it was the feast day for Yamaya and Oshun. They celebrate the same day and it was to help heal um, what was about to happen with the opening of the hunting of dolphins in Japan. And um, I've been praying very much, and if you all do follow me and are aware, I love my dolphins. I'm wearing my gold dolphin here, and actually it was presented to me by my husband on 11-11, 1993. So he's 20 years old, and uh, he means the world to me. Um, I'm a little emotional, so I hope that I'm trying to stay centered. But I've been praying um, very much. And uh, for some of you who do know, I, I did volunteer at the Clearwater Marine Center a few years ago. Every Thursday, I would go and, and winter the dolphin, which they did a movie now about her. And I think they're going to do a sequel. Um, she was not even a year yet. And it was very beautiful for me to be involved with her. I, I could not work hands-on with her, only her trainers, but I would, I worked with the turtles. <laughs> I worked with the turtle section, you know, pet them, scratch them. Turtles love to be scratched and feed them and clean and wipe and kitchen duty, whatever. But it was just a pleasure for me to be involved because really at, before winter came to the Clearwater Marine Center, it was, it was mainly a, 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 a hospital. Okay, that's why she came to the Clearwater Marine, because they have veterinary care there and biologists and so forth. But I'm here today to do a cutting cord ritual because I have become ill with seeing this um, baby albino dolphin who they've captured. And the mother was in so much grief from she... Her, the biologist committed suicide. She went down and never came back up out of grief. So, and because I, you know, just pray so much, I had to call on my goddess Isis. We all should have one main goddess we follow. And of course, mine would be Venus. I talk of Venus very much and the planet, obviously named by the goddess Venus. But... Isis, who went through so much misery herself with the um, death of her husband, Osiris, even though she brought him back, um, she can understand and relate to my uh, deep pain I have right now. So I picked a card um, last night just to know, to have her give me guidance. And the card that I selected was the Pyramid of light okay and i'm not going to get too deep into it but um the pyramid of light stands for psychic protection and it's um i just want you to see if you can see it okay the pyramid of light and it is um step your vibration deeper into love as a being growing in significant light darker energies can become more attracted to you there is nothing to fear and only more mastery and awareness of the power and protection of divine love to experience. Here is guidance on the skills you have within you now to deal with any undesired interference. The pyramid of light confirms that energies have been causing interference with your path and it is now time to end that interference with love and compassion. And that's why I'm doing this cord, cutting the cord from the ill thoughts I have had personally towards the, the, the killer boats or the Japanese who are involved in this. And many, many Japanese people do not want this to happen. I have a lovely lady 
that has written to me and grandma from Japan if you're watching you know the words we have shared I know it's not all of but it's traditions hundreds of years of tradition they have done this okay and so I am going to cut this cord that I have here I'm gonna do a mini little saying to myself but the incantation of this card continues you can say this incantation to call on the highest psychic protection and cleansing at any time it also just feels really good is what um, this beautiful Atlanta Fairchild has written I am love I am light to manage my own energy field I have every right compassion peace and strength I am I witness the dark with peace in my heart in my energy there is space only for love that is unconditional and gentle as the dove I am unconditional love I am unconditional love I am unconditional love alrighty and um, I'm going to choose one card from the deck because I want goddess Isis to give me another thought and another way to look at this because I truly try to be a positive human being but sometimes as I am a human in this soul of mine I do not you know don't make the right choices with how much I have pain in my heart and you know sometimes I think it's if someone ripped Lala and Beachy Baby away from me. It's what I feel inside. It is just, I could not even understand that. And as you all are who do follow me, understand I couldn't have children of my own. So my animals are my children. And, and, and working in an animal hospital with my husband for 14 years, I, you know, I, they are very soulful beings. They, they feel you. You know if you have animals. And the dolphins, when I walk on the beach, or I, I have my bath, this area is in the back on the inner coast, and I'm fortunate to have a window in my shower and stall, and I can watch the inner coast and see the dolphin and the birds, and, you know, I, I, I love it. But if I saw anyone hurting an animal, I just, you know, and I saw much abuse in the animal hospital. You know, people neglect animals, no doubt. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me just focus here for a moment. But Goddess Isis, please bring me the message for me to understand how to deal with my pain in my heart. Please release all pain from my heart. And please let me understand what I'm about to do as I cut these cords. Life restored. Priestess of the Phoenix. And it must be a powerful card because it is the back of the deck. Beautiful. I'll just stand up here for a moment. Okay, let me read this card, my friend. Obviously, as I've I shared before, when the artist, the author, selects an imprint for the back of the deck, it's 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 a double whim. So let us see what Lady Isis is comforting me with today and comforting all of us and and today's reading can be about whatever is troubling you. You know, if not, you know, animals, people in your home or neighborhood or community. We need to pray. And um, I have lost a little focus recently. And I don't want to do that. Life restored. Priestess of the Phoenix. Spiritual resurrection is gifted to you now. Whatever part of your life you thought to be dead is being revived and will flourish back into life. Just as the phoenix rises from the fire, transitioning from death into life, so too will you rise again, healed and renewed. That's what I was asking before I sat down and turned on the video. I asked Goddess Isis, please, I need healing. I need healing, and she has brought me healing. And it says here, just let it go, but the incantation of life restored. 
If you do not have time to do candle ritual, you can repeat the incantation below several times, gaining speed as you get used to the words. Really feel the energy in the words and know you are declaring your truths. You can also add this incantation to your ritual as you step through the doorway of the East if you wish to do so. Life flows through me unobscured. From past hurts, I am now cured. I meet my light blossoming anew. My inner light shines bright and true. Isis, Isis, mother of divine perfection, through your grace, I have resurrection. Thank you, Goddess Isis. Thank you very, very much. It's what I needed to hear. You know, my friends, we all can have issues and problems. Um, and we move forward, and as, us as light workers, we are the leaders of the light torch. And we have to hold it true to us. But I'm holding this cord right now, and I will bring in the angels and the sword of truth from Archangel Michael. As I hold this cord, please take with me all the thoughts that I have had, the negative ones towards, towards the people involved in these heinous acts for whatever reason they perform, let not profit be involved anymore in this. Animals, cetaceans, they should be free, as we all should be. I cut the cord of any thoughts that no longer serve. And may we all be resurrected like the phoenix from the ashes to rebirth again in love happiness and joy. And I will take to a ritual in the, after this segment and I will burn the cords and I will smudge my home. And again, please pray my friends, we, we don't have to have these issues and now that we have the internet, things are global we can see what really happens. It's not about stories or lies. We see the truth and we can heal ourselves and this planet. I so believe in that. That's why I'm on the YouTube. But again, sometimes I get overwhelmed and I can't control my emotions. And as we all have our light and dark side, I, I don't like when my with my shade, shadow shows. So let's just keep loving and light and peace and harmony. I believe in so much of that. If I did ever have children, that's how I would have raised them. Exactly. Okay, my friends, peace to everyone. And keep praying. We are the ones to make the difference. We can do this. Blessings. Ciao.